Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jared Gaming. Welcome to a game called The Interview. Don't know anything about this game, but I think we're doing an interview with a demon. Never played it before, so let's just dive straight in. We've got a VCR, two VHS tapes, and a security monitor. I guess we start with the left one first, shall we? Ooh, hello. Hi there, lad. You must be Brian Moore. I was told that you're here to conduct an interview. I am in charge of showing you around the block. Let's get this over with. Thanks, Officer Paul. You're so nice already. Why am I recording? Hey, dude, wake up. How's it like in here? How's life on the inside? All these incarcerated in this block here are for, in for some serious crimes. The guy over there shot down 27 people in a church. Crazy stuff. It's so horrible his accent changed. I don't get paid enough to look after these twats, but I'm in charge here. Let's keep moving. I don't really need a history lesson on all the horrible people that are in this prison. How's it like in here? How's life on the inside? The inmates follow a strict schedule here. They return to their cells at 8 p.m. They just finished dinner an hour ago, so the cafeteria is closed. Is that the green doors? The interrogation room is up ahead. Only those with access are allowed. Do I have access, Mr. Paul? Let's get a move on. And it's Officer Paul. I didn't go to officer school to be called Mr. Paul. So sorry. This is as far as I can go, lad. Your subject is to be interviewed here. I hear she's tricky to handle. No weapons past this point. You know the drill. Do I know the drill? I don't even know who I am. Good luck, lad. Hope to see you in one piece. But isn't this, isn't this place secure? Like, even if I'm going in there to interview, am I not going to be, like, protected? Look at these dudes. They got light machine guns. How am I going to not be back in one piece? And why are you following me like a freaking creepy portrait? Okay, I'm going in. Oh! Greetings, my child. What brings you here? Oh my god. This is like an SCP thing. Uh, I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm here to ask you a few questions. Um... You may call me Sister Maria, my child. Sister Maria, are you human? I believe not, my dear, for the Lord sent me here to carry out his will. His will? His will to purge the world of all sinners to form a world of absolute truth. The Lord, is there a higher power that you serve? The divine being, the Almighty. He is the embodiment of absolute truth. Are there more of your kind out there? I was sent alone. I alone had enough to carry out his will. Is it possible for humans to contact your God? Be not afraid. The Almighty will reach out when it is time. I see, and... My child, tell me... Do you think humankind is free of sin? Let's humor the demon. I don't think so, not at all. And tell me, child... What do you think might drive your kind to sin? I'm not sure. Greed, maybe? What leads humankind to ruin, my child, is lack of faith. Tell me, child, do you believe in a god? A higher power? <laughs> I'll give the Star Trek answer. I do not. Humankind has moved past the need for a god. <gasps> Foolish child, do you not understand? When the day of judgment arrives, do you not want to be spared? I have to act rather continue the interview, Sister Maria. I have a job to do. Ah, my child, I see you're cautious. I can understand. But, my child, your reluctance to believe will not end well. For instance, your wife, a sweet young woman, her death was unfortunate. I saw it all. You were both like-minded, energetic, but full of disbelief. Things could have gone very differently that day. It's a shame indeed. How the hell do you know that? <gasps> Mind your language, my child. Remain calm. The Lord tells me what I want to know. He who is all-powerful, he can see the future and change the past. Submit to him, and everything you once lost will be yours again. <laughs> Sister Maria, I believe you didn't answer me. What is your goal? Ah, my child, I believe I told you already. To eradicate 
all sin. Eradicate all sin, you say. My child, all of humankind began as one at first. Man was pure, free from sin. But man abandoned God, so they must be punished. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? The seed of truth from which all began. Its divine power will reset the world to that of pure one. My mission is absolute, my child. I will eradicate the world of sin. <laughs> you understand that any such action will lead to a military force. Like, like, like any military could fight the forces of whatever this is, probably. What do you plan to do if you meet any resistance to your actions? Ah, my child. Resistance will be futile. But they may win the fight, but lose the war. When the day of judgment draws closer, the ones who lose ultimately will be humankind themselves. Quite pessimistic, aren't we, demon? So those who do not resist will be spared. Yes, my child. But the Lord will forgive he who repents. A bright future awaits those folk who accept the Lord. Is it not a tempting proposition? It might be appealing to some, but I'm not sure. I'm not yet convinced, demon. So humankind might refuse to accept his teachings? So be it. I have no other choice then. Jesus Christ! When the day of judgment comes, they shall not be spared. You shall be judged too, my child, but I shall not be the one delivering it. It will be up to the Lord to judge you. What about those two guys? You judged them. But keep in mind, on the day of judgment, no man shall be spared from his wrath. Farewell. What? Wait. Farewell. Where are you going? I have so many more questions. Ooh. Ooh. Day of judgment, mayhap. Oh. July twenty third, nineteen ninety three. Three years later, is the is it is it Judgment Day? I can't control. I can't move. Is this Judgment Day? Is there something in the distance? Smoke, perhaps, rising, an accident. Are we, are we not going to stop? We need to stop. We need to slow down. How did you not see? Like, I get it, dramatic, but come on. Oh hi. Am I to be spared? It's a Judgment Day. Can I be spared, please? Okay, so the different tapes is the different parts of the game. The first tape is with the talk with Paul, and the second tape is the interview. I wonder if there's any different outcomes and see if we can get something different to happen. Let us skip. Yes, my, the Lord will forgive those who repent. I, I, I repent. Save me from my fate, please. Oh, are we getting the same outcome? Last time we said we did not believe in a higher power, so this time we will. Yes, I do believe. I see, my child, and do you not want to be free of sin? Accept the blessings of the Lord, my child. He and he only can spare you on the day of judgment. I think it's too late for that. I think last time we said we just wanted to do the interview, so I'm going to say I think it's too late for that. Ah, my child, I see you're cautious. I can understand. But my child, your reluctance to believe will not end well. I didn't. I am not refusing to believe. I'm just saying that I, you know I think it maybe is too late for me. Yes, my wife. You bring up my wife. So maybe we can give in to the temptations to bring back our dead wife. Last time we said, "How the hell do you know that?" And she did not like it when we cursed. So it doesn't matter now. She's gone, and no god can change that. Ah, uh, my child, you do not understand. I feel like if we choose the wrong option that does a little shaky thing and we haven't got that yet, so maybe we're going towards a different ending, I don't know. Submit to him and everything you once lost will be yours again. You understand that any such action will- I mean, the f first time we went through it, we did the second option, so we'll do the first option. We still get the shaky screen. Carry out these actions under the guidance of the Lord. Ooh. Do you dare question his words? The lamp! You know how much that lamp costs, ma'am? Oh, this is different. I didn't mean to do so, I'm simply suggesting a possible outcome. He who indulges in sin has no right to speak to me. It seems that this godforsaken race will never learn. Ooh, crap! Your filthy presence fills me with disgust. 
I will deliver judgment myself, lowly insect. Oh no. Oh shite. Oh, we pissed her off. We pissed her off. Oh shite. That's us. We're dead. Oh no. Both endings aren't so great. But there you have it, guys. That is the interview. It is my understanding that there's only two endings, at least according to the Ichio page. So I just believe our work here is done. Who is the Sister Maria? Be a demon or an angel? Hard to say. They claim to be one, but their actions suggest otherwise. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Please subscribe. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.